you've been doing this 30 years, did you say? 38 years. What? Since, since I started. You must have been a baby when you started. <laughs> <laughs> I, met, I, met, I knew the person that taught me. And I was actually doing construction and it r rained all winter in England and it got dangerous because we were down in a trench working. Yes. yes. And so we finished early that day and he was like, well, you finished early. And I was like, well, I don't have a job. And he was looking for somebody and I literally jumped in and did it the next day. I was taking a saddle apart and put it back together. It took me about eight hours then, but I'm a lot faster now. <laughs> how do you know when your saddle would need that? As when, a rider, how would you know that? It's more the feel of the stuffing on the underside on the horse's back. Yes. So when it gets, if you oil this a lot, um, the oil will soak through and gradually harden it over time. Mm -hmm. Synthetic goes harder faster than wool. Okay. Um, just, it's just a feel like if it's really hard and you, I can't put stuffing in there to make it fit, yeah. then it's time to take it out. It's if, a feel. If it's wool, you can play around with it like for like 15 years, just changing it as long. It depends on how much you have to put in there to make it fit the horse. Um, if it's nylon, nylon tends to go like in five years pretty hard. It just, it just varies and how much you ride, how often you put wool in there. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they've lasted, like I've known them to last like 18 years. Okay, so this is the first time you're seeing the saddle on my horse? Yes. And what are if, you looking if for? If you come over to here. And, and yeah. Uh, you come around. Uh, you look at the center of the seat and where the rider is going to be sitting. Yes. And so this puts the rider up here more, where they should be more back here. Mm-hmm. And it just tells me that the front of the saddle is low on this side and it needs to be about there. Yeah, I can see that. Then it's more um, centered in the middle. Yes, then you're more the balanced. If it's down yeah. like that, your legs are going to be, you're either going to be sliding off the side and your legs going back. Um, if it was a tight saddle, it'd be the other way and it'd be looking like that. Mm -hmm. And your legs would go forward. Mm -hmm. So there's two good ways to tell if your saddle's not quite right. If your instructor's telling you to keep your legs in the position and you can't, yes. they're going back and forward. Yeah. Check your saddle side and now we've got it more level it still needs a little bit more to get to there mm -hmm. but it's not too far out now and that you look at this well this horse I had said to you has um, very high withers yes very sharp so this saddle has to be pretty specific for him yes and you had also mentioned to me that this saddle after you're done fitting him he'll have more movement in the shoulder yeah but Basically, this part was like tipping downhill more like that, mm -hmm. and so this blocks the shoulder when it's like that, even though it's wide. Yes. Um, when you stuff it and pick it back up and get the seat level, it, it enables you to get your hand down in through here, so it's freer. If that makes sense. We're like it does it up, make sense. It like that. Perfect. So David, you are representative for WOW Saddles. I am. Tell us all about the saddle. So, a WOW saddle has been made by an engineer by the name of David Kempsel, who has a bunch of YouTube videos that you should look up and watch because he's very, he, he knows a lot of stuff about how the do you that. How do you spell Kempsel? Kempsel. Kempsel. K-E-M-P-S-P-E-L. Oh, Great. Um, it may be two L's. My brain's not working today. <laughs> well, I'll look it up. All right, so in most saddles, the tree points go down like that over the horse's withers, that way. Mm -hmm. And in the WOW saddle, they're actually like that. Okay, so that's this completely saddle, different. This is there, rather than down that way. And so behind the horse's shoulders, where they move, there's nothing but padding. Oh. And on top of that, they used carbon to make the tree, and the pole front of the saddle moves with the horse. I see. Which works like car suspension for the rider if you have a bouncy trot. Uh huh. It actually takes a lot of the bounce out of the trot. And he made them modular so you can take them apart. I can make, almost make this saddle fit any horse by changing this and changing. This, has, this is like the new air system. This is called Flare 2. And this has a layer of felt and then air bladders behind. And they actually invented air bladders for saddles. Okay. And the company was called First Thought Equine, but they make well saddles. Mm -hmm. And so this saddle, I can move the flaps forward and back. There's two stirrup bars, one here and one there. Um, it's modular, so I can put jump flaps on a dressage saddle, dressage flaps on a... It, it just, it's, you choose a seat, choose the panels, 
choose what flaps you want to do. So as a representative, if someone was interested in trying a saddle, you would come and fit it um, or try it. Try it. Yeah. They, you have trial saddles that yeah. they could try for their horse. And obviously you know how to fit a saddle and, to a horse. And I'm not a pushy salesperson. Like the only reason I rep these saddles is because the horses love them.